Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be using weight painting to refine the way that the character mesh deforms as we move the bones around. Before we get into that though, I quickly want to select the character in object mode and go into the modifiers panel. And here we have this armature modifier, which was added in automatically when we parented the character to the armature. On this modifier I want to just enable preserve volume, which is going to prevent certain areas of the mesh from shrinking as we rotate some of the bones. Alright, I'll then select the armature and go into pose mode, and then select the character and change the mode to weight paint. Now, because we were in pose mode previously, we can right click on any of the bones to select them and see a nice weight visualization for them. So, uh, the blue regions of the mesh represent all of the vertices over which the currently selected bone has no influence, and the red regions are the regions which that bone influences the most. Naturally, colors in between are just varying degrees of influence. So for example, on this leg bone, you can see there's some light blue up here showing that it has just a slight influence over these stomach vertices, and then that quickly fades into green, then yellow, orange, and finally red. Now some bones like this chest bone, for instance, don't have any red because it's sharing influence over these chest vertices with the other bones in that region, such as the two shoulder bones, the neck bone, and the spine bone. Alright, now the way this weight painting mode works is that with a bone selected, we can left click drag over the mesh to start painting in weights. So here I've painted in some red down the side on the head bone, so if I now rotate the head bone, you can see that all of those vertices rotate with it. Pressing T to bring up the tool shelf, we get all of our brush options, so I can change the radius of the brush here, and also the weight of the brush. So currently I'm drawing in red, but if I want to draw in a slightly uh, lower influence, I could change that to say 0.5, and I'll be drawing in green, and if I change that even lower, I'll be drawing in a light blue. Now if I click on this brush icon itself, I've got a couple of different types of brushes, so importantly there's this subtract brush, so we can uh, get rid of some of the mess that we create, or some of the uh, things that the automatic weighting did that we are not happy with. And another one I like using is this add brush. So this lets us sort of layer weights by just repeatedly brushing over an area, and in this way we can uh, build up nice gradients. There's a ton of other stuff that we can do, but I'm going to get more into those details when we do the weight painting for the character's clothing and armor, since those can be a little bit finicky and we'll need some more precise control. But for now, I just want to get rid of this mess that I've created, so at any point we can revert back to the automatic weighting that we had at the start uh, by selecting the bones that we want to revert. In this case I'll just select all of them. I've only modified the head bone, but just to be safe, and I'll go into the weights menu here, and say assign automatic from bones, and now we're back to where we started. Alright, so I can now just play around a little bit, moving and rotating these different bones, just to see if there are any deformations that I'm particularly unhappy with. So, for example, as I lift this arm up, we're getting this big bulge out the side of the body, which definitely needs to be addressed. But apart from that, uh, most of the automatic weighting seems to have worked pretty well, so we won't need to make too many adjustments in this video. Let's quickly try the legs. These seem fine. Uh, maybe the uh, sort of hips here are moving a little bit too much as I uh, shift the leg back and forth. By the way, this interesting color that we're seeing at the moment just represents that this is a non-deformation bone, uh, this IK bone, so it can't have weights assigned to it. And the same goes for the two pull targets. Now, to fix this first issue I noted, let's select the upper arm bone and I'm going to change my brush to a subtract brush and just decrease the radius a little bit. And I'm going to come in here and maybe press Z to overlay this wireframe so I can see exactly where the vertices of the mesh are. And I'll just start painting over some of these vertices which the uh, upper arm bone shouldn't really be influencing. I can maybe make my brush a little bit bigger actually. All right, so that's already looking like an improvement. I want to do the same thing for the shoulder bone. So just paint over here and uh, we can see obviously how the mesh is deforming while we're doing this, so we can get a good idea of the impact of our changes. 
and we can obviously put the bones in different poses while we're doing this to see how it's uh, looking. And the other nice thing, of course, is that since we have the mirror modifier, all the changes that we're making to this arm are automatically being copied over to uh, the other side as well. So we don't have to worry about duplicating our work. This shoulder bone is maybe influencing the neck a little bit too much as well. So I'll come in here and just try and remove some of the weighting on these vertices. All right, that probably helps a bit. The other thing I'm a bit unhappy with is how these vertices here are bunching together as I rotate the arm bone. So I'll maybe go into add mode and just add some weight to these vertices here. All right, so now as I lift this up, those should uh, come back as well and they won't bunch together so much. All right, I think that is a big improvement. So I am going to leave the arm there. Let me just quickly reset my pose. And then from side view, I want to adjust the leg a little bit, but the arm is kind of in my way here. So I'll just select this and rotate it back. And we can then worry about the leg. So uh, the bone that's causing the trouble is this upper leg bone here. So I'll come in and just go into subtract mode and subtract some of the weights around the stomach. I think perhaps the head of the bone is positioned a little bit too low down, uh, which is why uh, so much of the sort of bottom here is rotating strangely. So uh, this isn't really part of weight painting, but it's a good idea to adjust that. So I'll just go into edit mode on the bones and make sure I've got the heads of uh, both sides selected. And I'll just bring this up and a little bit back, maybe like so. And that really seems to be deforming a lot more naturally now. It's quite tricky to see how the knee is deforming with all of these bones in the way. So I'm quickly going to go into the armature settings and just change the display mode to wire for the moment so that we can see this a little bit better. And currently the knee looks a little bit strange, especially at the front here, it's quite pointy. So I'm going to go back into weight painting mode uh, with control tab or of course from the menu over there and I'll select the lower leg bone and just add some weights to this edge loop uh, above the knee, something like that. And then for the upper leg bone, add some weights to the edge loop just below the knee and that should help smooth things out. And indeed it looks a lot less pointy now, which is very nice. The deformations behind the knee are still a little bit odd though. So I'm going to come in and uh, try and adjust that a little bit. So for this upper leg bone, I'll just be adding some uh, weights here on the lower part of the leg and then do the reverse for the lower leg bone, just adding some weights above the uh, sort of line of the knee. And I, uh, I think that should give us a fairly decent deformation. It seems to uh, look pretty much okay here. The only thing I'm still finding irritating, uh, which isn't really a weights issue, but just coming past the pull target here, how the leg is sort of uh, flipping over. So I'd like it if these pull target bones were just a little bit further out uh, so that I didn't have to deal with that problem quite so much. So I'm going to go into uh, edit mode on the bones here and just move these bones forward on the Y axis like so. And now that should be a lot uh, less frustrating. All right, I'll reset the pose, and I'm also going to change back to the nice octahedral display. And with that, I'd say that the weight painting and sort of uh, final adjustments of the rig are complete. And we can now look forward to animating the character in the next episodes. So until then, cheers.